this particular type of steel mm-hmm. which was yeah. created i think somewhere in south india wood wood steel yeah wood steel, right? wood steel. yeah it comes out of uh, again about 2300 bc mm-hmm. which is the it's called the urku and through series of changes became you know arabic and then mm-hmm. uh, english which who which who and then became woods it's a very interesting for example the design of the oven in which the ore is mm-hmm. smelted high carbon iron mm-hmm. uh, was made in india for the first time in the world mm-hmm. and how was carbon introduced into the iron okay different kinds of bamboos mm-hmm. different forms of wood uh, sheaves were put in there correct temperature had to be determined mm-hmm. all of this was done through trial and error mm-hmm. and then if you look at the uh, iron that comes out it has clearly clear lines mm-hmm. the carbon lines stay mm. and why is that good because it's an alloy now of mm. carbon and iron mm. which gives it phenomenal strength it can be curved right and yeah. it can be shaped and mm. it can provide uh, sharpness and so on yeah. and that was used for utensils it was mm. used for knives basic stuff that went into the arab world went into damascus which mm. in the 9th century was the golden age mm. of the arab world or of islam itself so it went to damascus there after almost 1000 years you think huh. but then around the 1000 or 80 mm-hmm. you had the crusades mm. where europe fought the uh, arab world i mean the muslim christian fight happened mm. for many hundred years that is when they figured out about this damascus steel then it obviously went into the european mm. system and that gave rebirth to the european metallurgical industry mm-hmm. until that time this kind of sophistication did not exist